Hi everyone, hope you're all keeping safe and well. So today is an unusual day to say the very least. A vote of confidence has been called in the Prime Minister. I just wanted to share a few thoughts that I have uh, and how I will vote later on today. My only priority since I've been elected as your MP is to do my very best to get investment uh, into our area to support people during the pandemic, to support frontline services, to ensure that some of our important uh, heritage and cultural assets like Gig Lane, um, like Berry Market have received extra funding so they can be regenerated and used by the whole community going forward. I've prioritised education and skills, as I think we all can see in Berry Town Centre, the new STEM centre has been built there. That's been built with about six or seven million pounds of government money. Um, I further fought and lobbied for Institute of Technology status for Berry College, which brought in about another 1.5 to 2 million to ensure that young people in our area and people of all ages had access to the best possible training to give them the best chance to thrive and succeed in life. Now that's all that matters to me. I want to work with the government who are committed to that agenda, committed to levelling up in every sense of the word. But also I want to support a government that are on the side, on the side of, you know, who, who are calling the issues on the international scene correctly. So in, we've all heard what President Zelensky has said about the Prime Minister's leadership of the international community in respect to the support for Ukraine. I think we can all agree that, that the British position in respect to that has been exemplary and we should all be extremely proud of that. Legislation is about to be, or very soon to be introduced into the UK Parliament regarding the Northern Ireland Protocol to override the protocol to ensure that we protect the peace process in Northern Ireland and protect the integrity of the Good Friday Agreement. Now these are hugely important issues where I support the government and I continue to support the government. So I am being asked today, nobody has spoken to me on this issue, I've not had anybody from either side of this debate come and say how are you going to vote. But from my perspective, working with a government who are looking to continue to invest financially in my area is a government that I want to support. Looking to support a government who are at the forefront of the international effort to protect the people of Ukraine and in Northern Ireland and in various other issues is a government I want to support. And although we've got some support here, as you can see, from a dog woofing, <laughs> barking woofing, um, I will today be supporting the government and supporting the Prime Minister for the, reason that, for the reason I said at the start of this. I am here to deliver and do my very best to deliver financial investment and support to the people of Berry North for, to ensure that we have the access to the best facilities, that, the, that, that all the things that we want to see investment in, that we continue to do that, that we see Gig Lane flourish, that we see all the other things flourish, which haven't done for a number of years under Labour rule locally. And that's why we're supporting the Prime Minister, backing the government today, getting on with delivering for every single person in Berry, Tottington, Rounds Bottom and all the villagers. That's what I'm here for. And if people on the record that myself and the Prime Minister were elected on the mandate two and a bit years ago, if we don't deliver that by the time of the next election, then people quite rightly will vote me out. But I want to deliver for you. And that's why I'll be supporting the government today.